actually can keep this up so I can hear everything. Um, so welcome, welcome to the private 25 review. And um, so today um, we're starting another say moment together. All right, welcome. Great that you're here, that you made it. So today, and there's another say meeting, another episode in the private 25 review. And um, yeah, this is an interesting meeting to prepare for me because it's like, yeah, I really want to hear from you. And um, in a sense, so that's why I wrote an email too. It's like, okay, so if you want to say present something here in this meeting, please let me know. Uh, please let me know in the beginning so I know, okay, well, yeah, I want to I wanna share something. So I, I wrote a couple of things. It's like, well, we're definitely not uh, having a discussion here. We talked about that before. And this is, this is like we're meeting in a very beautiful place, uh, which is our stillness inside of us. So whatever comes from there, what you want to share, because you just feel the inspiration to do so. You're totally welcome to do that. Um, but there's an, yeah, there's the stillness and the quiet that is related to that. So I, I just needed to emphasize that. And um, so we start today with, and I see some chats coming in, but uh, we start today with a meditation which is um, also from one of the talks of the Private 25 Reviews from talk 2A2B. Um, I took a part out of that to, to use in the meditation because it's really beautiful. Bringing grace into expression was the tape name. In their immediate physical freedom, the patient soon becomes a student. And uh, as soon as a student begins to realize that we are not seeking God power to do anything, that we are not seeking God presence to do anything, we are merely seeking God realization. that in that realization, error dissipates itself, and why? Because it doesn't exist as power and does not have to be overcome or destroyed. It does not need a power to overcome it or destroy it. It needs only God realization. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. It doesn't say at all that it makes freedom or creates freedom or establishes freedom. It says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And this is literally true. The moment there is a realization of God, uh, there is freedom.
Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Joining in, in this moment, you know, just being still. And uh, so Joel, Joy points out to us, um, like in every talk, but this one too, like the only thing that's really going to do something is God realization. So that's that's the main deal, if you want. That's the main thing here. And so as soon as you receive that, then in fact, an error dissolves, you know, it's like it's gone. You you don't um, you cannot see it any longer. It literally like evaporates or it disappears. And now that's great as an idea, right? That's great. Oh, yeah, I want that. I want that. <laughs> and, and and which is great. And so it, it it happens. It happens. You know, it happens. It spontaneously happens. So now the preparation that we do in order to receive this God's realization is then to become quiet, to become still, to not as I engage with our thoughts to not do this and not do that. In fact, um, getting out of the way, you know, getting out of the way. It's like you don't have to tell God how to come to you. He knows where you are, like he, he doesn't stop giving to you. So that's that will never be the problem. So the only thing is give up even the idea that God has to come to you. Like he knows his way. He knows exactly where you are. So it's really for you to, to become receptive, to become open without hurting yourself in order to think that you should be somewhere else, um, that you already should have experiences like that. So if you if you can accept where you actually find yourself, then then everything opens up. It's the same as what we said the other day is like trying to to catch a butterfly it will be very difficult. It's too fast. It, it, you will not be able to do that. But if, as soon as you calm down and sit still, the butterfly lands on the tip of your of your nose. You know, it's like it, it will come to you. It knows its way, it knows its way. But anyway, so that's that's just to um, to, yeah, not forget this. So that's that's really beautiful. So this this talk that Joel gives to his uh, say practitioners and teachers um, is is interesting to follow. I I just noticed also today listening to one of the tapes is like it is always so quiet in in the places where he is teaching, and 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 it's like well if you see how. Uh, say how how people were um, say present in classes in general, whether that would be at school or whether that would be somewhere else, they would listen to someone. You know, they would be quiet and still and listen. The, um, so the something happened, of course, later on in time too, in which people were more accustomed to sharing what they feel that they are needed to make yeah to express their emotions or their feelings or their uh, they they yeah it's like that that changed a lot in the last uh, say 10 some years 40 50 60 years that changed a lot and so that's that was one thing that i noticed too of course this is just a, a, like a, a general idea about the classes of joel but they're always so quiet there's being laughed in sometimes but for the rest people are like just opening no response no reacting just receiving it so that's beautiful also it's beautiful to see that i'm going to start uh, sharing my notes with you and then we see it from there this this won't take too long but i i just love to stand still and say um yeah open uh, to you open up to you what I discovered. Um, so talking about God realization, here is one thing. So it's like the, um, this note is here, the grace of God, the spirit of God, and the presence of God is filling you at this very moment. There's 
only one thing preventing that fullness of that demonstration in your entire life, and that is that you are accepting a belief in two powers, good and evil, or rich and poor, any kind of belief in two powers, you know, it's like any kind of belief, like the whole human frame of reference is preventing you, like if you believe that to be your world, that's preventing you from actually coming into a direct experience of the presence of God. Well, this is, was a bit what I already shared. Like during the meditation, we set aside our, um, say, investment in in the human frame of reference, and taking back our uh, taking back our investment and letting go of our engagement with it, just for a short time. So, so that's one thing. So preventing you, I, I underlined the word preventing. So these these are the actions that you do to prevent yourself from actually yeah having a, a full-blown experience of the grace of god um so there are three things that i like to share um this is another one the kingdom of god is here and now it needs only to be experienced but it can only be experienced in the consciousness of an individual who is dedicating himself or herself to that and that's another one that's a great one too so all has to do with the idea of god realization the kingdom is already here like you don't have to establish a kingdom it's right here so the only way for you to experience it then is to um, say dedicate yourself to the, that that you above all want to experience the kingdom of god and and that means not something else, but this. So it's like a an, an, um, dedication, a full commitment to, to truth, to the reality of who you are. I'm just, say, going pretty quickly through this. Okay. The grace itself is our sufficiency. Therefore, we seek, should seek nothing but God realization. God's ordination, God's grace, and we receive it in, report, in proportion to our realization of the fact that it has no opposition. Okay, once more. We receive it in proportion to our realization of the fact that it has no opposition. The grace itself is our sufficiency. Therefore, we should seek nothing but God's realization. God's ordination, God's grace, and we receive it in proportion to our realization of the fact that it has no opposition, like it has no opposite. In other words, <laughs> wait a minute. So I, I love this because this is clear instruction that we receive. I love this because it's like the there's it is tweaking almost like it's tweaking tweaking you in the right direction to receive what is already there so it's like no you don't have to do that no you just have to put your focus right like what is it that you truly want come in touch with what you truly want go deep inside into the bottom of your heart what is it that you really want like it always goes like this it's like going deeper into that discovering what it is you're actually asking for because that is what will happen that is what you will see if there is just one desire uh, of the son for the father that is what you will experience you know that's that's how the simplicity is of that and then your dedication to truth like your total dedication to truth has an immediate say change of receptivity so now i like to, to put this um, say to clear this up a little bit too so the one thing is that it is not that when you experience god realization like having a, a deep experience of your connectedness with with god that you have that in your consciousness all the time of course it is there somewhere but it, 
it can just be a temporary experience that you have which is perfectly all right so it's like it's not like once that happens then you turn the switch and and forever your mind is quiet and you will be at peace forever like no that's not how this works in in this uh, say it can be but it, it doesn't have to be like that and it's perfectly all right so that that relieves you of an idea that you should hold on to it in order to achieve it it's like no no this this what you discover as your experience of the love of god the only way to keep that to stay in the remembrance of that is to give it away so to demonstrate it to give it away to to teach it to demonstrate it to you know it's like that is the thing that i'm going to give so that is uh, good to know too so you value that as the most valuable thing for you well give it away then it will come to you and and this is like i speak from deep experience that really works like that if you if you decide i i don't want to give this away i want to keep it for myself or something like this like or you you don't think that that's necessary in one or another way you will see that you slowly but certainly are turning in on yourself uh, and and that doesn't feel good then it becomes really uh, like a bit eerie a bit, a bit weird um, for yourself because literally you don't let spirit breathe air inspiration into it now this is this is beautiful to to discover and know give it away give it away it's like whatever way that comes to you it doesn't have to be in form necessarily it can be in in attention in in presence in the way that you are in the way that that is going to be shared um coming through you you know like being inspired to do so and and that's yeah that's how that can be maintained and of course, at the same time, you have your, um, say, your relationship with your um, chatter mind. So if you engage with it, if you um, accept ideas out of it and go for that and value that, you get the experience of that. That might be obvious at this point. So I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but see, I love to give this away in order to receive it again, too. It's like, yes, this is what I want in my consciousness. This is, yeah, my dedication to that. All right, so to continue then with the, our meeting, I want to ask um, Karen to share with us. Okay, so I listened to one of the tapes. I can't remember which one it was now. Um, but and then ended up going on a bit of a different direction because in that tape, um, Joel spoke about, and I've heard him sp speak about it before, the eight important chapters. And um, so I, I looked those up and started reading and, and working with those and um there's some amazing nuggets that's sitting in them um the one aspect that that i wanted to share uh, was actually because one of the chapters is the new horizon um which is the last chapter of the infinite way and um it actually, there was something that he said in the in there that really struck me, and then when I was listening to, um, we've had a few meditations with, you know, Joel says, seek God realization as your primary objective. Um, that's what we're looking at, and I felt quite confident that that's what I was doing, and. It was actually recently I realized that I was still doing it for the wrong motivation. So um, with thinking, let, if I can realize God and have the God experience, then 
my problem, whatever my problem might be, will go away. So I was still seeking God realization as a, you can think of as a medicine or as a way of fixing something. Um, so I was still doing it from the human world perspective. And when, when you look at what Joel says, and this is what I wanted to share from the New Horizon, he says in the, um, he's got a quote here that I want to just read. Um, he says, above this sense life, there is a universe of spirit governed by love. People with children of God living in the household or temple of truth. This world is real and permanent. Its substance is eternal consciousness. In it, there is no awareness of discords or even of temporary or material good. So what the sense that I, what I'm starting to see is that we are not, we, there's, we actually, God realization brings you into the realization and awareness of an entirely separate place, if I can use that word, an entirely separate world, a different world. And that's why the problem might disappear because you actually are conscious of something that is other than what you currently experience. And that's the like he's a, you know he talks about living between two worlds or or being in two worlds, and then this reminded me of something that Mary Baker Eddy said. She says in in Science and Health entirely separate to the dream of material living is the life divine. So she so so she's also so pointing to the the the, the fact that God God realization will bring us into an experience of a divine life and a divine reality that is entirely different to this current material ex experience that we think we are actually experiencing. And um, she also says something, that's Mrs. Mary Beck Eddy, she says, as mortals gain more correct views of God and man, Multitudinous objects of creation, which before were invisible, will become visible. So it's again pointing to this world that is real, that is permanent, that is peopled with the children of God. And so now in seeking God realization, what I'm seeking is the experience of this real true world, which is the reality of life. And so it's, it's, it's almost like a completely, complete letting go of worrying about whatever's going on in what we're perceiving as this human life that we live in, because that's not it at all. And fixing it or healing it or changing it or doing whatever isn't actually doing anything at all in terms of it's not really where you need to be looking at all. And I think that that is what Joel keeps trying to say when he's saying seek God realization. So, yeah, so that's, that's basically what I wanted to share. Yeah, that's, that's lovely, Karen. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Yeah, that makes total sense. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for that. That's really beautiful. So so that that is one of the 18 chapters that he mentions, right? Yeah, so there's eight chapters. Eight chapters. Um, eight chapters. Yeah, it would actually be a great thing for us to to potentially do as a study between, you know, here mm -hmm. is to look into these eight chapters. Um, and I found a few resources, like some of the chapters he wrote, himself he just wrote but yep. many of them actually came from tapes but then Lorraine Sinclair what she did is she actually found recordings of other lectures and teachings that he did that covered 
some of the tapes that, I mean, some of the chapters that um, were just written by him directly. Mm -hmm. So there's quite a lot of resources around these eight chapters. So I'm happy to share that with you, Vim. Yeah, um, right. right. Sure. Yeah, and then we, we could actually look at maybe doing working with them. Yeah. You know, my, my, my one comment that I do have with some of this is that um, a lot of this takes time to digest, you know, so it's, it's, it's not something that you kind of, oh, I've listened to that tape, I've read that chapter, I'm good to go, now I can go to the next one, or I could, you know, it, some, some of these things you sit with for a while to actually get yeah. them to mean something or open up inside of yourself. Yeah. So I would just say, even with the eight chapters or whatever we're doing, it would not be something that, that we, we don't, wouldn't have to do it in a hurry. I mean, even doing it one chapter every two months and giving – people time to really work with it and possibly share ideas around that, not ideas, but bringing their inspiration around them mm -hmm. could be another kind of format, if I can use that word, yeah. that we could also explore. Yeah. See, the great thing then to share, to come back to, and I don't know, this is always by inspiration that this happens. It's like, so beautiful how immediately when you let go of the idea that we're doing something you enter into an overwhelming place of love the love that i feel for you and for god you know you come back to the to your center and and then that can open up again so that's such beautiful rhythm i love that and it's um it's great to um yeah, it's great to express this too, but also to, to live that. Hmm. So thank you for your for your part in this. See to to stay in this quiet space while sharing, uh, just using all of this to practice the God realization is is like the most natural use of time you could say so it's like use use that all the time use that whenever you have a moment use that in the in between time if you think that you're in in a meeting somewhere think you have to wait for something like no 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 it's so like no it's it's the same story leave this leave this for what it is and just always say like go back in and and open and release and and be overwhelmed with with the love that you feel with the light that you feel you know this beautiful gentle rhythm is is literally living you so to stay in tune with that and attuned to it is is all that matters yeah so thank you Awesome. Great.